we were working on our Star Wars 12 inch line and uh, one of the figures we had been putting off for a while because he was a different scale or size than everybody else was Yoda. And uh, we decided to hit Yoda and uh, hit the first incarnation of Yoda you see which is the Empire Strikes Back. So uh, we had to create a whole new body for the 12 inch figure obviously because he's a short little three foot guy. So uh, we created a brand new body based off of our other 12 inch body. So we gave him a lot of the same articulations. He's really hyper articulated underneath those robes. Uh, he could really kick some butt even though he's a little aged at this time. He's not doing so much action. He could technically on that body that we gave him. He could really still kick some, some Sith butt. So uh, while we were working on the figure, uh, we've been inspired lately to do a lot of the 12 inch or six scale environments. And we just thought how cool would it be to do Yoda's hut? And at first it seemed like it was a bit out of question because it would just be so huge in sixth scale. But uh, we figured out a way, I worked on some designs and we figured out a way to kind of shrink it down and still let it be in true sixth scale, yet not include the entire hut. We've kind of cut off the back room of the hut. If you look at it, uh, it looks like it's all there, but there's actually a whole nother room that's, that's missing that you can see uh, in the movie that it's there. So what we did was we took the most iconic part of the hut and we made that the outside feature. And then we cut away this side so that you can go ahead and you can take your figures and you can place them in there and you can recreate the scenes from Empire Strikes Back. Yoda fits in there as you guys can see and also if you have a 12 inch Luke figure or any other 12 inch figure, you can sit him down Indian style right next to Yoda just like Luke does in the movie and he fits perfectly and they look awesome together sitting in the hut. And uh, so when we started working on the hut, we just started doing a lot of research as to what exactly is in Yoda's hut. And uh, there's some great reference in the uh, Star Wars Complete Locations book. And it has some really awesome cutaways of the hut. And it labels all of the little things that are inside there that you, you know, you just get flashes of in the movie. But we really had to research them and see what they were so that we could get them right and uh, put them in the hut. So we decided on a few things that we wanted. There was, you know, a bench and a stove and uh, some sticks and some snakes. And then uh, we just kind of went hog wild and we just started including anything and everything that uh, you would find in Yoda's hut all the way from the spoon that Luke eats from in Empire Strikes Back to the stove. If you look, Yoda's stove is actually burning right now. He's actually got something cooking and uh, he's probably expecting some company. Maybe a Jedi is gonna drop in the area as well as his pots of food. And the cool thing about it is it's not stationary. It's all interchangeable and customizable. You can arrange it as it is in the movies if that's what you choose to do or you can customize it and arrange it any way you want. It's all fully mobile. You can pick up any of the parts and move them around to other parts. And uh, it's just really a lot of fun. It's a great way to either display or play with your 12 inch figures. One of the fun things about the hut is also the little light fixtures that you see in the back there. They're gonna light up in production. There's a bog wing actually. It's this little creature up here and uh, everybody's seen him in the movies. Uh, if you're watching the scene from Empire Strikes Back or any of the Dagobah scenes, it's, uh, it's the flying pterodactyl type creature that you see in the background in most of the Dagobah shots. Uh, he's pretty prominent in a couple scenes in Empire Strikes Back and we just thought it was, it's a really cool creature design and we thought it'd be a lot of fun if we could include it with the hut. And he just uh, attaches right here to the hut magnetically and you can just perch him up there or you can remove him off and fly him around if you want.